This brief video will explain the differences between the different brands and types of copper used to treat marine ornamental fish. Please note, copper only eliminates ick and velvet when treating saltwater aquarium fish. My preferred brand of copper to use is copper power, which contains gelated copper. As such, it is safe to add fish directly to a tank that is pre-dosed at two parts per million. Copper Power has a wide therapeutic range of 2 to 2.5 parts per million. However, due to the margin of error when using the HANA high range copper color meter for testing, we have determined that 2 to 2.3 parts per million is the best range to treat at for 30 days. You will want to slowly raise the copper level from 2.0 to this range over a period of 48 to 72 hours. Make sure you buy the blue bottle of copper power for treating saltwater fish. There is a green bottle used to treat freshwater fish, but that contains a very different formulation of copper. Another chelated copper product is Copper Safe, and it is very similar to the aforementioned copper power. However, the manufacturer of Copper Safe recommends treating at two parts per million and no higher. The best test kit to use is still the HANA high range copper color meter. Copper safe can be used on both saltwater and freshwater fish. Coopermine is fully charged or ionic copper that has a therapeutic level of 0.5 parts per million. Because of its toxicity, it is recommended to take several days to gradually raise the copper level to 0.5 when using this product. One advantage Coopermine has over Chilita copper products is that there are multiple options for testing. While the HANA checker is still preferred, you can also use the Salifert or Seachem copper test kit provided you are not colorblind. Coopermine can be used on both saltwater and freshwater fish, although the therapeutic level is only 0.25 parts per million when treating freshwater fish. A less commonly encountered copper product is cuprium. It has a very precise therapeutic level of 0.2 parts per million and thus is not recommended for use by recreational aquarists. Professional testing equipment is recommended, although the three options shown on the screen may suffice if you are careful with your testing. Did you know that you can make your own DIY copper solution? It's not the best option, especially for treating copper sensitive fish, but you only need two ingredients that are easily sourced. Copper sulfate pentahydrate or granular sized blue crystal sold on Amazon, for example. Citric acid is even easier to find. The acid acts as a stabilizer to the copper in solution. Just never substitute the citric acid with absorbic acid, vitamin C, since it will render the copper way more toxic. Everything should dissolve nicely, giving you a slightly bluish stock solution. Thank you for watching this video, and hit the subscribe button to see more videos like this. Also, look for additional information in the comments section, including links to every copper product discussed here.